Right, we've got another episode of Customized, and I am so happy that we've got an awesome troopy over here, Chris. Finally. <laughs> right, I'm excited to go through this. I, I've actually followed your build. Lee did your design, and I saw the CAD drawings, I saw the 3D virtual and how the draw systems and how everything works, but I haven't seen it in real life. So I'm really, really excited to go through this truck. So Chris and I are out here. Chris is one of our Patreons. We've done a Patreon trip. We spent the whole day yesterday and last night entertaining one of our Patreons, saying thank you for the support. And plus side for me, I get to review one of these beauties. So Chris, welcome to Customized and tell us about it, right? You've you, got a 78 Troopy, what model year is it? It is 2017. Yeah. So you can buy these new in Dubai now. Yeah. For a long time it was kind of a bit of a grey area if you could could a, could a non-local register it. So yeah. it, it, it wasn't bought through the dealer. Because they view this as a commercial vehicle, right? It, exactly, yeah. Um, even I had the issue with the 76 as well. I had to import it from Oman and 76 series weren't even for sale over here too. It was also viewed as a commercial vehicle, but this is typically an ambulance, right? Yes, exactly. It's a troop carrier. Yeah. <laughs> That's so not a huge amount of use for it here. Yeah. But uh, I, I think I think they kind of relaxed the rules a little bit. So the way the way I was able to get this was the there's a one of many dealers in in Alawir in the second hand yeah. car market here in Dubai yeah. and they ship all over the world. I mean stuff yeah. comes in from Japan and these guys have everything every Toyota model you could imagine and they had a load of these and I think the way they can do it is they say this is old stock, yeah. so can we change the license to be an import? Ah, I see. And but I, this is originally f Oman through Oman, no, or no, was it, it came it, in it through the UAE? My understanding is it came in through from Japan to the UAE. All oh, right. That's my understanding okay. of it. Uh, it's hence, hard to get a straight answer. Hence, we'll talk about the the oak, the, oh, the, the fake yeah. plastic it's, uh, it's not, wood it's, trim. It's, it's all real walnut. Yeah, real so walnut. We'll, we'll okay. see that on it's camera. It's real walnut. It, I'm sure you'll see the shiny walnut in a minute. Right, so it's a V8, 4.5 litre, one turbo. Have you done any changes to it? I've got diff breathers. Obviously, they come up into them. It's yeah. not an engine change, but it, they're, they're in there. Yeah. And I put a catch can. Yeah, but yeah, I, I have Our diesel over here is terrible. Exactly. So it, it's, it's, good, you know, it's good insurance. I, I haven't done any performance upgrades. So yeah. what's nice about this is you, there's all sorts of stuff you can do. Yes. So you watch what the Aussies have yeah. done. It, it's yeah. mind boggling. They I take it to a next level. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Big four inch exhaust. And it, it's incredible what you can do. I mean, it's nice to know that you can, yeah. but I, I need to drive it more. So there's no point getting a car and immediately tuning it. Yeah. I mean, I, so I've not, been, I've not not been able to do anything that I've tried, but it's I haven't done much sand driving. Power, exactly. right? and, and for what we really do, we, yes, it's nice always to have power, but yeah. you're looking for reliability versus power. Exactly. Um, and we're overlanding, we're not dune bashing. Yeah. Right? So if, if I took it into, so I've got my, lucky I've got a Patrol, the Y61, the Patrol yeah. Safari. That's my desert dune bashing car. Makes sense. What I ship want- of, Ship of the desert. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so what I, the only thing I'd like to do desert wise with this is if there's a nice place in the desert to get to. So I, yeah. I don't want to be do, going to Leewa- At a hundred kilometers per hour. And doing that stuff in this. Yeah. I, it would be pretty I think it'd probably do it. I'm sure yeah. with the right drive, it's probably, it's not really, <laughs> it's not for me. <laughs> I'm not that brave. But I think the only thing where performance improvements might come is if I found that you know, I am going to Leeward, I want to get up to the top there to see the sunset, yes. have the family camp, and if I'm not making it, yeah. but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I, d I don't need another 200 horsepower. Well, you've got double that I have in mind. So yes. I'm running a beautiful 95 horsepower yeah. out of 4.2 litre straight <laughs> six diesel with no enhancements. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so let's talk about the front of the vehicle, right? Yes. I see you've kept the bumper stock standard. Yep. You've got the winch that yes. comes standard with that. So I think it's 8,000 pound Toyota yeah. winch. They're gorgeous. They, they do the job. Light bar. So I just went with, it's both this and the, the two on the side. Oh, yes. They're, they're basic, China, you know, Toby's is a Chinese brand. They're, yeah. they're Dragon Mart special. So Dragon Mart's a big place where yeah. here where you get all the, all the China stuff. Yeah. So 
if, if I relied on these for my safety, like if I were a woodsman in the forest every day at night... We don't I'd... have animals running in front of the road. You're not exactly. in Africa. You're not in, you, know, you don't have kangaroos coming past. You don't have kudus and elephants at the yeah. middle of the night. So... And if, if it breaks on a trip, I can replace it. So if, I probably wouldn't have these if I were doing a long expedition, which one day I hope I'll do. And we generally don't drive at night anyway. Exactly. You so want to get to camp, set up... Set it up. Sunset. So where, where I've used these a couple of times, well, where these have been used is where we've just done an evening barbecue yeah. and we're with a couple of other families and people want to have the barbecue and then drive home. So we're going yeah. down the track and these light the track up. So it, it's not for like nighttime extreme off-roading and yeah. they, they do a good job with that, so I can't complain. The reason for sticking with the original bumpers? Well, I, I, I haven't smashed it yet. So we'll talk a bit later yeah. about the rear bumper. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I haven't damaged it yet, so... Um, I, I'll and do that again I'll before that you it. comment and take Chris apart that you need to put a bull bar on the front. We, again, we don't really have animals running in front of them. You know, the reason for having a front bar is an animal protector. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a rhubarb, like, it's a bull bar. You've, a, got, you've got great ground clearance. Yeah, exactly. You've got the, great the clearance is good. You're not going to be taking the bumper out. It's, I've got the bash plate and I think it's, it's two Ironman recovery points there. So from yes. a sort of protection point of view and recovery point of so view. So that was the next question because recovery points on these vehicles, although they're built for purpose, I can't understand why Toyota just doesn't put proper yeah, recovery it's, points on it's it. It's one of those weird, like, I, it, I can't see, yeah, what, what's the issue? It's like, I'm yeah. sure they're not that expensive. But yeah, I got a couple of those and, and the bash plate. That's great. Oh, you got on both sides. Yes, oh, that's fantastic. and I, and I yeah. put some parking sensors on. Because ah. when, I, when I got this, oh, I was like... got an upgrade. Yeah, You have the GLX upgrade. X. <laughs> so, I, think that, I mean, I've used these a few times because, like, this thing is really... Also, I, I, I'm getting used to it. I've had it yeah. for a couple of years, but it's not my daily driver. Yeah. But it's a big thing. And you're, you know, you're in a car park, and I'm like, yeah, is, where is that pillar? Where is so it? So yeah. these have saved me a couple of times. Oh, so you've got one, two, three, four of yeah, them. Yeah, so that's it goes around nicely. And if, if I were doing a trip where I knew I'd need the winch, I'd just pop this off. Yeah, and the little leave plastic thing. I mean, day. I suppose they could do it for... for yeah. It yeah. aesthetically looks great, but it is a bit of a nightmare. And don't forget this cool feature that we get in the Middle East, which is the... the I, I don't know why they... South African and the Australian viewers love it. Where can we get it? Every time I get a picture of the hood ornaments, it's like, where can I get one? It's so and cool. We've actually it, sent a whole bunch of them to Australia. We've ordered ends. a couple of them from Alawira over here yeah. and sent like 50 of them across, especially the Toyota Holic guys and Toyota Holics Africa. Say thanks. So I, I, <laughs> I've actually found this quite handy when I'm going down a track and it, it, it shows me where the middle of the bonnet is which <laughs> yeah. is kind of obvious but <laughs> yeah. in my patrol I, I don't have that and yeah. I've, I've noticed if I've been doing some tracks in this and I, I can position you know you've, I, I've always got that marker yeah. whereas in the patrol sometimes I'm like hang on where where am I exactly so this, this does serve a purpose apart from looking gorgeous right so uh, safari snorkel you obviously went and changed the originals it, did it come with a snorkel, this, it this one? It did, so it comes with a little mushroom yeah, snorkel. The standard Toyota piece of crap. Exactly, so yeah. I changed that for a couple of reasons. One, um, this looks a lot cooler. Yeah, and, it, and, and for that one day or three days a year that we do get rain, you might go through a puddle. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> well, I'll send you a photo. I, I did a super trip with uh, a guy, David Benson. He's Go yeah. Troopy on Instagram. He, he's got probably the most gorgeous looking. Yeah. He's, he's done his up beautifully. It looks fantastic. Mine still looks like the UN ambulance, <laughs> but uh, David and I did a trip um, just actually kind of Not over there. Yeah. And the, you know, the water's there. Yeah. So this is a single piece. There's no gap. There's it yeah. looks cool, and it supposedly, supposedly no, I mean, gives you a few extra horsepower. Whether it does or whether it doesn't, the best thing is you're not going to get water in your engine, and a diesel exactly. on water don't work. Exactly. Right, Right. so tyres, you've stuck with the standard skinnies. I have. Do you know? So again, I mentioned the UN ambulance look. Yeah. So from an aesthetic point of view, and people will disagree with me, I think this looks really cool. <laughs> I, I know that this big staunch look is great, but I, they've been fine for me. Yeah. And I know there's this big argument, thin or fat on sand or whatever. Uh, look, it's, a, it's an argument that no one's ever going to win. Everybody's got their own opinion on that. Exactly. Yeah. So what, what I... Stick with, stick with what makes you happy. And yeah, I, I've got a lot of guys that go on the, on the channel and say, I'm going to put mud terrains on my car because yeah. I like the look. 90% of the time I'm on road. Yeah, you don't but he put mud, ter mud terrains on. It's not for the fun. It's, it's your aesthetic look. You've yeah. got to look at your vehicle and you want to be proud of it and think yeah. that looks cool. I think the the main reason that I would change them. I mean, again, I haven't done thousands of kilometres, yeah. so re if they start going, then I'd re put, you know, replace them with something else. But I, from, from a, you know, it's, it's a thin, tall car. Yeah. 
and you, you tested me on this trip, which I really enjoyed. You know, then like, am I about to fall over? And you're like, no, you're not. So yeah. it, this is this compared to other cars I've driven on these sorts of tracks, you know, in the, yeah. my little Wrangler, I can be like this yes. and it's fine. In this, you feel very tippy. So I think my main motivation would be perhaps a bit more stability. So a wider tire, a yeah. few centimeters either side. I'm sure you all have seen this by now and you all wanted us to talk about it, the Alu Cab. <laughs> so, so this is the Hercules, Hercules. right? It's a yes, Hercules right. conversion. Andrew St. Pierre White started this off in the world and I think it's taken off and everybody else. Yeah. I, I think it was a great idea that they put together with him working with Alu Cab that you've got this tent. It's uh, brilliant, it's a, yeah. It's a, a rooftop tent, camper, in vehicle, yeah. a bit of everything, right? So you can actually live inside your vehicle, but you're also on a rooftop tent. It's fantastic. It's incredibly comfortable. I would have actually had a little bit of poo would have come out. <laughs> Well, buy a brand new car and they chop the whole roof off. It is, it is quite funny. You, so I got it done at ANR and you know, they're sending you the videos like, uh, so I have a, a silly name for the car. I call him Jeff the Troopy. So Rashid at ANR. Check it out, Instagram, Jeff the Troopy. So, you know, Jeff, Jeff is having a haircut. And you're like, oh, blimey, you know, I've just bought this Did brand new thing. Did you actually go there and watch them cut the roof no, off? No, I, I saw it when the roof had been cut off. So I kind of arrived and they're like, there's your roof. He's like, I, could, I, I wouldn't be able to do that. I, <laughs> I, I love vehicles way too much. I, I couldn't, I would have to leave and they would be getting the ground and just disappear. Just call me when the other roof is back on, please. You, you, I can't. You're definitely putting, taking, putting a lot of trust in the people who are doing it, I have to say, but they've, they've done a really nice job. And it is brilliant because my, my original, so this is meant to be like a mix of family camper, very capable off-roader. I've got the patrol, as I mentioned before, yeah. and what I, about three or four years ago, I started watching your channel, actually, yeah. also Andrew's, and I thought, yeah, we used to go camping all the time. Yeah. I want to get out there. I want to do cool stuff. So did I get, if I had the patrol, what I should have done, the cheapest option, my wife would have been a lot happier, is patrol, change the suspension, put an eye camper on the top, yeah. and a couple of drawers in the back. Or buy a small trailer and off you go. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but my challenge is my car park is 2.21 meters. So with the patrol, with, you know, even with a low roof rack, it, it would have just, just think, but I worked out that I could just fit this into the car park. Okay, so, so you've built this purposely to put into your car park. Look, I mean, 90% right? of it is I just wanted a troop. <laughs> Let's be honest. But uh, we can dress that up in. Th this fits in the car park. But this, this thing is fantastic. So when, when uh, obviously, on my own, it, it's, it's super comfy. Yeah. If it's just me and my daughter, we'll, we'll share. And I have a little decathlon pop-up tent. So when it's with the wife and daughter, my daughter's seven. Yeah. Uh, so my wife and daughter very happily sleep up there. And I just put my little pop-up for the, for the one-nighters that we do. Right, so let's talk about suspension. What's your choice? Why did you go with it? How did you end up with it? So I, I, I had no particular brand loyalty. Yeah. So what I wanted was something better than the default suspension. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I get it, if I owned a fleet of these, I'd be thanking Toyota to say, thank you for making it so uncomfortable to drive that my drivers will never go over 40 kilometers an hour because you're just bouncing around. Well, I think around. that's the point, right? Exactly, yeah, there's, it's a reason for this. It's not meant to be a luxury yeah. vehicle. No. So what I said to A&R was, um, I, you suggest the brand, yeah. you know, obviously don't go crazy on price. I, I don't need BP51s with yeah. adjustable reservoirs. If I do in the future, I'll do it now, yeah. but I just want something straightforward. And what I said to NR is make it as comfortable as my patrol. Because my wife really enjoys driving That's in the patrol. All order. And, you know, the patrol, it's... it's Getting it, a 70 to be, behave like a Y61. Well, Ooh. they... Well, <laughs> we, we got there, actually. I was really yeah. pleased. So it's a two-inch lift. Yeah. And it, it's, you know, these are never going to be luxury cars. Yeah. But it's, it's comfortable to drive. What's that? Dobinson? Yeah, it's Dobinson's. Yeah. yeah. So I went with Dobinson's. That's what they recommended, and I've been perfectly happy so far. You know, I haven't done 100,000 kilometers on them, yeah. but it's that little bit of extra height, and we saw it in, in the trip we did yesterday, that, that bit of extra flex, yeah. and, and it's comfortable. It's, a, it's massively more comfortable. Right, let's look at a, talk about the side of the vehicle. You yep. kept the original side steps. I mean, again, we don't go in terrain, and if you do bash it, it's easy enough to replace on this. The Troopy's only got the little short one. Yeah, I did, I did go over a rock in my patrol the other week, and I, I bent the the side step and I bent this and this so I think again on the list is I, I don't want to add, I don't want to add too much weight but I think this is valid and some of the stuff that we did today it's more you know we did go over some bigger yeah. things if you, you just get your line a bit wrong yeah um so I, I might may add it at some point and this is actually bent slightly just from me <laughs> from yeah they, they're, they're horrible I don't know why Toyota even brings it out for them they should actually just leave them I've, I've had bitches and complaints about it every time I do a review on on a 70 series is why they even bother it, rather just leave it off exactly it's yeah. so because like so many things in this are absolutely tough as nails yeah and like why would you pay then, lip service to this anyway yeah. 
Right, so old. everything else, we'll talk about the interior later. I love the lines of the Hercules. Yeah, it looks, it looks nice. Great. You've got the quick pitch, um, quick on sweet. Yep. Great. Mrs. must love it, but... Uh, she hasn't actually used it, because, oh. but um, she, we will be. And I used it a lot last week. I was camping on Sarai Island, yeah. and I just put that down, and you know that was my priv privacy. It worked really nicely. The one thing, I, it could do with some pockets and things. So I know I can add this myself, but... Yeah. I'm a little bit surprised that it doesn't come with some little pockets and stuff because yeah. otherwise, like, where's my Unfortunately, I mean, it was launched as the first privacy tent and they did a great job and great engineering going into it, but it hasn't evolved and right. other products have evolved and, and it's, it's kind of stuck where it came out. Yeah. And, yeah. I might get some things added. So it's yeah. nice with, with, with this. So these I got done at ANR. Yeah. They're actually so the these are the front runner. No, no, these, these are A&R made oh, them. Oh, did they make yeah. them? Oh, so they so did their own because... This is manufactured here in the United Arab Yeah, because front, front runner don't, I don't think they do them for Troopies. Okay. And the, there are some Aussie companies, but the lead time is like sort of 14, 18 weeks, mate. Okay. Uh, so yeah. actually, <laughs> Rashid and the guys knocked this up. So he's actually improved it a little bit. Mine was the prototype, yeah. which I was very pleased to get. And it's quite cool because the, with, the, with the tent open, yeah, then you, you can, can then you can put your towel and yes. stuff like that that's there. Yeah. I actually have to have this open to fully open the fridge. It's something we'll talk a bit more when I'm in the All interior. Right. So when this is closed, I can kind of grab stuff out. But if I need to open everything and fill it, I, I do have to open that. But that's a bit of a compromise. We'll probably talk about that on the interior. Okay. And yes, you've got a hidden... This is really cool. So this is Rashid's I idea. I really like this. So we've got air. That's for the, the air and the button for the air compressor. That's water yeah. in. Yeah. That's water out. And actually, I just press the button so you can see. There we there go. There we go. So the kids love that, so Jeff's doing a wee-wee. That's... We can have to come up and say, will you stop wasting my water? Jeff's on a wee-wee, I know, but I don't want to keep wasting the water. <laughs> I mean, that's just such a great spot because, I mean, this is unutilised space over here. Yeah, when exactly. We get to the back of the draw system, we'll discuss that further. But, I mean, so you've got your compressors here. Yes. And so your pump for your water pump and everything is yeah, based and here. Yeah, and I've got a hot box as a company in Oman, Afkarios, and they yes. make a product called the hot box, and it's, it's a heat exchanger. Yeah. So what I like about that, and I, I tested this yesterday. So when I got in the car in the morning, I, I switched on the water and it was 23 degrees according to the Hotbox app. Yeah. And it took 11 minutes to get it to 40, no, 10 minutes to get to 44 degrees, That's 12 minutes okay. to 50. So and, and you basically, it's running the engine, you put the heater on. Yeah, you just put the heater, heater on, turn the fan off. So and it was pretty chilly yesterday. Yeah. So it's not something you want to do in the middle of summer here no. for too long, but actually 10 minutes is, is fine. Yeah. So had to get really, and that's 53 litre tanks. I say there's probably about 48, 49 litres in right, it. Right, so we talk about the tank straight away. So you've gone and put a, a 53 litre tank. Yeah, so the water tank's there. Right, so you've kept the original fuel tanks, right? So yes. you've got the two it's, it's fuel tanks. It's got the two 90 litres. Uh, some people go and replace this fuel tank and put a water tank, right? No, so I've, yeah, that's you've just stuck it on there. You've put an additional tank yeah. over here. And it's got, yeah, it's, it's working really nicely. So, it, and it's funny actually, yesterday we were pretty loaded. You know, we put all yeah. the wood in and yes. I filled the tank up and the more load, suddenly it was driving better. Yes. So when I put adding like, oh, this water tank's going to be heavier, but no, actually that's the it sat solid and, and nice. Yeah, nice. does. Thing. Right. And then we have to go straight to that, I well, suppose. Yeah, so I, I've done, <laughs> I've dinged this twice now. So I think the first upgrade will be, I think I'll probably get the Gobi X. And there's another reason for that as well, which is, you know, we're always lugging wood around. So yes. I, put, I put my wood in this. It's fine with one 15 kilo bag. Yeah, but it, 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 it the starts door, to creak. It, 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 yeah. And, and look, if you're going to change your tires as well, yeah, right? I mean, if you were going to heavier, a 285, yeah. it's heavier as well. And you don't want that hanging on the door because the doors do eventually start giving you issues. Exactly. Yeah. Right, so the rear end of the vehicle. We've discussed it. You've kept the standard wheel carrier. You've got a camp cover. Yeah, um, this is brilliant. I love yeah, this. They they also. I mean, you just shove everything in yeah. there, and all the dirty stuff, and especially good recovery gear that gets muddy. You can just shove. There's that always in an there extra. Well. Th there's always an extra bit of space I can find as well. Yeah. And yeah. then standard the the water the water carrier, and you'd keep this the same if you had to change the bumper, water and. and yes, uh, yeah, I do the same. Yeah. So uh, I've also got the front runner grill here. Oh yes, of course. Spare wheel grill, yeah. which is absolutely fantastic. When we got you know two or three families, yeah. there's lots of space because one of the reasons I built this was. It wasn't just for me to be on my own. What I wanted to have was kind of stuff that other people, so if other people come camping with us, yeah. and we'll see some of that in the interior, you know, it's like, okay, I've got the fridge, I've got the grill, Correct. I've got the water. You know, you don't have to get a car for, spend 10,000 dirhams just for one night. Come and have fun. If you like it, you can stay. Yeah, but it's also with you having that extra gear and, and you're actually getting more people to start enjoying the outdoor living and start exactly. doing it. And and then themselves. we can do it more and I'm happy. Yeah. But this, this, this was extra, the jerry can holder. 
and I think it's. Oh, it didn't come standard with with yours. No, so it and to, looks, to get it almost it, looks the same as the as it, the patrol one. It cost a lot of money, and it's a Toyota one. Okay. But you have to send off and like buy like three hundred million individual parts. There's no oh. jerry can holder part because it looks very similar to the patrol the it, y61 it, it, it's, it's a jerry can holder yeah. but yeah it, to get the toyota one and also actually this is something that a and r did which i was pleased when you moved that from yeah they here. moved that so it did and, and they actually had to fiddle a bit and i got the and rear got the, the light yeah the lights there and the reverse cameras there as well okay and this water's super handy i, I just got this for 11 dirhams from including delivery from noon <laughs> that's just ridiculous so yeah there it is it's good enough just easy Something Obviously, works. I take that off when, we're, when I'm yeah, driving. Yeah, yeah. It's just been there since this morning. Right, and oh. this is... Oh, yeah, so people admire these. These, these are standard. Yeah. So they ca it came with those. I don't really use them. I think they look pretty cool. And I yeah. really... This is one of the best mods. This is actually a Land Rover Defender step. Yeah. Or it's made for Land Rover Defenders. Yeah. It's, it's from a company in the UK. And it, it's nice and stiff. Yeah. And to get up and inside the, the car... Even when it, I mean, it's great for the for my daughter, my wife, but even for me, it's, it's one of those tiny things that suddenly made this so much more livable. Yeah. Because I was constantly falling into it or falling out of it. Correct. And and now just that little step, and I did catch a little bit yesterday, so I think we we need to fiddle with it. To but come I think up once you've better... done the rear bumper, I think that that will yeah, that'll change solve the issue. You. If you have yeah. a metal bumper and it's pushing up against the metal bumper, you're never going to bend that. Exactly. So yeah. It makes sense. All right, let's have a look inside. And this is, this is where I start getting excited because I've seen the CAD drawings, but I haven't seen it in real life. <laughs> so we've, we've got an interesting compromise here. Yeah. So Lee, uh, Lee from Highly Articulated did it, as you mentioned. Yeah. And Lee, thank you, did an absolutely fantastic job. And I gave him a brief which was pretty difficult. Yeah. Because uh, partly when I bought this, I kind of took my, you know, crossed my fingers and I, well, I want to troop it, let's see what I can make out of it. Yeah. So mine is different because I have two rear seats. So okay. I, can com I can completely see now owning this, why this is perfect for one or two people traveling the world. Yeah. This is hands down, I think, the best. Okay, I haven't traveled the world, but yeah. look, all the, I, I watch a lot of YouTube videos <laughs> <laughs> and I at least own one. So for two people, there's so much you can do. So yeah. the difficulty with my brief was why I said to Lee, you know, I've got my two rear seats. I got two seats from Australia, tech safe seating. They make proper rated seats. I wanted okay. to be safe, not just something of course, yeah. welded on from Alawea. And I want to be able, if possible, to be able to sleep in the rear, it, downstairs while the family's upstairs. Okay. So before we talk about the drawers and things, what Lee did is he, you can just see the metal, I'm going to take uh, yeah. the frames come out. So you can take those out. Yes. If you put the seats down, so metal bar goes at the front. There's a little metal frame. And there okay, are two, so you're flipping the front two seats down. To, to fr the front seats go forward. Okay. The, yeah. the rear ones go flat. Yeah. And then there's a metal bar that okay. goes across. And then there are two boards. So you can create a sleeping platform here. Right, so, that'll so go, this, is, yeah. this whole middle area then becomes like a stretcher, basically. Exa exactly. So Lee did an amazing job to get that done. I haven't, it's just not quite practical. Yeah. So that's not Lee's, does, that Lee, yeah. what Lee did is amazing. And I think I could potentially use it if it was just me and I wanted to sleep downstairs and not attract it's attention. Or whatever. I could get away with it. But what, what isn't practical is that, you know, wife and daughter up there, I climb in and half an hour uh, later, it doesn't quite yes. work. So, but that's okay. You know, I, I knew when I was doing this, we'd, we'd have a bit of uh, back and forth before we got the, the ideal design, but the, yeah. the rest of it's great. So I'll take you through it. Right, let's go. Yeah, so we've got the drawer system over here. So this is a drifter kitchen. Ah. So you unclip it, it comes out. It does take a couple of people to carry fold the legs out, stick it down, and then the lid folds out. So you've got this really great big oh, camper. And of course, the drawer is still attached. So, you know, you need scissors or tin foil or whatever it is. Okay. So it's, this is brilliant. So this works obviously as a drawer. So yeah, like, so you have to obviously then design everything around this because this comes as a yeah, standard. Yeah, exactly. So I was saying to Lee, like, well, I want to sleep downstairs. Yeah. Here's a kitchen. And I want the kitchen to fit. I want the kitchen to fit. I want all of this. So that is, I love that drifter kitchen because it's great. Again, we've got three families. You can have everyone yeah. doing the burgers and putting their drinks down. And then it's a nice drawer. It does take a couple of people to lift it yes. out. The fridge, there's a 56 litre Snowmaster and yeah. that's all nicely strapped in. I quite, I like this. Yeah. I'm learning how to use this fridge. Sometimes it, it, it varies a bit in temperature, but I think I need to learn how to pack it. I don't think yeah. it's the product, I think it's me. And behind that, there is a thousand watt inverter. Okay. And also the, the battery box. Okay. And, and the, you're running a 75 amp. It's a lithium. 75 amp lithium. Yeah. The reason I have this huge inverter, and this shows what a, what a tough guy I am, is I told uh, a and R, so I want to be able to run a Nutribullet because I like to have my, my healthy smoothies. 
I know that you treat your body like a temple, Sean. I've seen evidence <laughs> yeah, of that on smoothies. this trip. I have wheat yeah, smoothies. Yeah, yeah, wheat smoothies. <laughs> but I was thinking if I do a longer trip, I want to be able to, that Nutribullet, because yeah. like Nutribullet can blend concrete. Yeah. So you want a soup, you want a, something healthy, you want to get your fruit down you. Because if I don't have that, I'm super lazy about eating healthily. So, so give me enough power. can use a hairdryer. You see, that, it, you, you, exactly. you, you put it yeah. that way around, then it's, then it's better for her. Exactly. <laughs> so we, we've kind of randomly got two power sockets there. I think that's because that, that's yeah. what A&R had. Can switch things on and off from there. And little little things I like, like my towel just sort yeah. of slips in neatly there. So that side works really, really nicely. Um, the front runner table. So, yeah. I, I mean, it's just for a quick stop. Yeah. I hardly ever use mine. I, I, I'm going to sell this and replace it because like, I'm spend half the time, I can't get the thing out. <laughs> but it's really handy when they you need, need it. When you quick coffee or a quick stop, they work well. What I do need to get, this is a really important up now, I want to get some, um, some struts because every, uh, every time, because it it, it's actually quite dangerous. You're, you're grilling your lunch, you're, you're frying something and suddenly... Look, when you go with the bumper setup, yeah. and you have the wheel carriers that go off that, yep. you can open it up and you can actually just clips in with a ball. Brilliant. And then you don't have to okay. get the struts for here. You have the struts for the actual yep. wheel carrier and then when it goes, it actually clips up against that. Right. So okay. Far easier, don't have to do double struts. And help you out when you get it. So I've also right. got, there's a little, there's a drawer here, which is okay. super handy. That one, that one there is a, is a panel that you pull off. So I've got I've got my, my bottle jacks in there. There's a spare blanket. I keep my air mattress for when I'm in my tent. Yeah. It's kind of a stuffing area. Now, so that's you're not using that stuff all the time. So ex exactly. I don't need accessible. to have it handy. I love. I know this is not exactly rocket science, but I yeah. love these little bags. And I've I've got these great fold out Alcinidi chairs. So they yeah. they hook in nicely. There's a front runner chair. Nice spot for that. This is the the fire protector yeah so it's all nicely done so this this is kind of aesthetically looks nice so I, I take that off it does get in the way a bit when okay, it's just so you've got packing space from this yeah. end as well so when it's the three of us yeah the brief i gave to lee is i want to fit three front runner chairs in here okay because i just want to arrive and i just want to put my chair down yeah and you know even you know nice camping they take up so much space so the front runner ones actually when i first sat i thought oh i don't like this mm. Now I really like it, yeah. and it's so easy. So when it's just me, what I like yeah. here, I've got my, this is like a pantry. Mm -hmm. So spaghetti, tin things, chopping board, stuff like yeah. that. That's my air hose. I got one of the Fire Pit DXB Fire Pits. Yeah, Fire Pit X. And when I got it, I thought, oh man. Just bought another thing. Oh, I got yet another, where, where is this actually going to go? And thank goodness it wedges Perfectly. just in there. So if, yeah. if, if it's the family, if it's a family trip, a bit <laughs> drop it yeah. full, flapping around somewhere, but for just my trip, this is brilliant. And then I've got some tools at the back. There's a water, a 20 litre water jerry can. Yeah, here. so it's 73 litres of water and 20 as a yeah, emergency, which is probably overkill, but but why not? Yeah, but if you're three of you, if three of us, it, yeah, makes sense. And I, and I bought this because I wanted this is really cool. I wanted to do, I want to go to Oman and I want to do five days on the yeah. beach, so not just one night in Fujairah, correct? Fun as that is. So this is this works nicely, so I've got a little uh. That is such a cool idea. It's good for little cups in the ears, obviously, and the little pots and pans. It works Hopefully nicely. Hopefully, my wife is not watching this. <laughs> and you know, I can switch that. I won't bother switching it on. But that yeah. that that feeds from there. From there, up. And it, in water supply. Yeah, brilliant. And often, what I actually do with this, I, I take this out and just put it there. So when you're getting into yeah. a tent at night, you can just rinse your feet off. Yes, yes. So that works pretty nicely. That was nice. That's a. Uh, yeah, but it's also, again, it's it's utilizing space. Yeah, yeah. Russia did put all that together and did it very nicely. It's cool, yeah. And it, the only problem is this, this is a bit of a pain to fill. Yeah, because you the pump's in there. But it, it, what I can't, well, I've worked it what out. What you now. can do is just run a hose from exactly, there. Exactly, just run the hose so from there. So you go in and out. Yeah. And then it just bypasses instead of going into the tank, it just goes directly into here. Yeah. But it exactly. is a fiddle. You're right. Exactly. So I mentioned these. This yeah. is actually quite a nice platform when you you can sit in it when like you're coming out. Like a first aid kit, very easily first accessible. Aid kit's there. right there. And the other first aid kit is my toilet paper. So yeah. <laughs> depending oh, what sort of an, which, what sort of an emergency yeah. it is. Um, I quite and then like... the fridge, the fridge oh, yes, doesn't sure. actually slide, right? So you've no. got to actually physically get into the, well, I suppose, now, let's, why don't we pop the roof? Because yeah. accessibility, someone's going to be watching this and saying, well, hey, this guy's going to get it in here and look it. like this. But in actual fact, it has a trick to it, right? The Absolutely. whole car becomes a double story. So what, what's handy with, I mean, at the moment, so this is where the drinks are. Yeah. So easily accessible things. So. To, to really make it easy access, so I've kind of got the roof semi-open already. Just uh, turn it down. There we go. Roof goes up. Lift that. 
and now then, it becomes a double story inside. Yeah, much. so I can lift up that whole interior and you can stand inside. Yeah, so you this can is, see how easy it is to this do. This is the beauty of this is that, you know, here we go. Now, and my bedding's all in there as yeah, well. But now you can, if I want to prepare some food, I need to get the food. I can easily get to this stuff right now and look inside and dig around, which exactly. is great. And, and this little walkway actually works. Yes, I didn't think, when looking at it at first, I thought yeah, I would have made it as wide as my shoe, but it actually does work. Yeah, well, again, it's, it's a, it's a compromise. I wanted it for safety as well, because it's the, the front seats, like, I'm sure you've got this on your TJ, like the front seats in the two-door Wrangler. Yeah. When you pull them forward, they kind of fold, you know, and then they fold up, and it's actually, yeah. but these are just, they just go like that. Yeah. So I, in, in any kind of accident, I wanted to make sure there was a kind of passageway so yeah. apart, apart from ease of access and... So yeah. again, because you're three people traveling in this vehicle, your daughter can't just open up the door and, and exit hop out, yeah. or go out the front. Exactly. She needs an, another exit. And, and, I, I know the and Aussies. we have got the handles to get out the yeah, back here. Yeah, exactly. Okay, you've just moved your vehicle around and I've realized that your exhaust is not the standard exhaust. What yes, have you done? I, I put, uh, there's a Legend X 3-inch exhaust. Okay. Uh, why did I put that in? Well, it sounds great. It sounds great. Yeah, I mean, there are all Simple. sorts of performance metrics. Yeah. But you know what it does? A diesel, you need to get rid of the heat, right? So yeah. I think the most important thing is your, your exhaust gas temperatures need to stay down. Right. And all diesels should come up with a, a great big, big four-inch, three-inch pipe and, you know, get rid of the heat. But, but it does sound great. It does. It's, uh, yeah, it sounds nice. So why not? Yeah. So let's start at the top. Um, you've gone with a Alucab. Uh, this is Shadow Horn, I think yeah, it is. Yeah, 270 degree Shadow Horn. Yeah. They stand, they awesome. Self-standing, so self... It's brilliant. Yeah. And, and you can fit any awning onto the side of the Hercules. It's not, yeah. you don't have to buy only this one, but it comes yeah. nicely with all the support brackets. I absolutely, I love this because it means that we can stop and I just put it out. In seconds it's open. And, it, and, I close, and it's so easy. Because yeah. otherwise, like, I didn't want to be doing oh, no. one of these things. No, so. you need two people to put those up yeah. anyway. Right, quick pitch, another quick pitch uh, invention. I they absolutely, absolutely love this. Awesome. It is brilliant. Love it, you know. So handy to and give it a clean. Two or, two or I've just got here. two you've at got the two moment. two in there. This is brilliant. It's just so, so quick. Absolutely love it. But in actual fact, you can get rid of that front runner. Yeah. One at the back, because this is so quick and easy. Well, yes, it's a bit of a fast because it does get full of dust because it's on the outside of your yeah. vehicle. But generally to make some coffee or well, a quick snack. What I want to do with the front runner one, and Rashid at a has done this, is he's, he's fitted it and he's cut out uh, all sorts of bits and put uh, pa uh, carpeting into the, into the rear door. Okay. So it's got, you, you use that empty space in the rear door, so the table's still there, but you can yeah. have your washing up liquid, uh, uh, salt and pepper. Yes. So I, I do, I want to do that. But you're right, this is, I, this, I, I use this 95% of the time. And when we're camping, so I've got my, this is a window box, this is where everything falls out. So I need yeah. to improve. This is a bit messier than it usually is because I took a washing up bowl with me last week on a trip that I did. But I've got the jet boil, yeah. uh, my recovery kits in there as a PowerPoint. So this is great, like everyone can put their phones when we're camping and yes. you can charge your iPhone. That's where I plug the car into the mains. So there's a okay. Victron Energy yeah. input and I can, I think if I were doing a long trip through Africa, I would put a separate one here. Mm -hmm. But as it is, I can actually close one of these and I can still have the wire yes. sticking out. Security is not a huge issue here, no. but you still don't want to tempt people. No. Um, but that's nice. So what I've started doing now, which kind of obvious, but I didn't quite realize at the time, is just get your fridges running the day before. Yes. So I'm lucky Makes in my car easy. park, there's a power socket. So yeah. I just plug it in, the fridge is cooled down and I stick my stuff in and it, it's much more efficient that way. Yeah. But I, I love this. This is, I, I, you know what, and it's unfortunate that it only works for the Troopy and only works for the 79 <laughs> series or any kind of pickup. Yeah. Right? It doesn't work for a car that has four doors, but it's great. It'd be nice if you could do a half, but then it's not an X-Track holder, right? So the yeah, whole exactly. reason is it, because these things are an absolute it's, pain. You can never find a spot for these. Yeah. And the fact that this doubles up as a table, ah, awesome. I mean, exactly. it's just... Right, power. You were talking about power a second ago. You said yep. you're putting your 220. What are you using to manage your battery management system? So I've got the Red Arc Manager 30, and I've got 200 right. watts of solar on the roof. Yeah. Manager 30, I mean, yeah, I, I don't want to present myself as some crazy overlander. I'm, you know, I'm a. No, nah, but I mean, I, mean, so I think it's, it's one it's of the best fine. products on yeah. the market. It does the job and it just keeps on cracking away. So. Yeah, it's nice. It's easy to use. I've become a bit, I was, I was joking, I remember mentioned this last night a few years ago in the UK, uh, where I'm from originally. My, my dad put some solar on his roof and yeah. I went to visit him and he was forever popping upstairs. And I said, What are you doing? It's like, oh, I'm just checking the solar charge. <laughs> and I was like, wow, that's ridiculous. And now I've got this in, like, I'll, I'll be sitting there chatting and I like, just, you know, be yeah. back in a cell. Oh, four, 143 watts are going through. <laughs> yeah. And it, it, it does it nicely. One thing that I really like actually, which um, ANR 
did is if the lithium battery dies, if, that, if it gets too low, yeah. battery management sensor goes, and the only way to reactivate is to give a charge. Yes. So crawling in, putting a charge on the battery box, but they've done little things, a nine volt battery, yeah. and I just flick a switch and I put it into the plug socket, and it wakes the battery back up, and, and then, then the manager 30 can, can, the can, can recharge it, oh, which is pretty cool. That's awesome. Graham had a good idea yesterday, <laughs> yeah. which is to put a clear gull wing. Because yeah. when, the reason I wanted two rear seats is that I mean, my daughter's seven at the moment, yeah. and if she, in, when she's older, she and wants to bring friend. a friend. Yeah. So I, what, I didn't want to limit it too much. If I took that seat out, the yeah. amount of extra space oh. I could have would be brilliant. Colossal, but yeah. putting a clear gull wing yes. would make it easy, because it's actually quite handy. You can just grab things and now yeah, these sliding right now, doors. Are, I mean, you'd have to get in here, click this, yeah, open and then, this. And then you pull, you want to go to there. And you then go, you want to get your exactly. clothing or anything yeah. like that. It does make sense. So a clear one in. would be would be quite would make a big difference actually. That'd be quite cool. Yeah. Or like the Aussies, put a, put another door in. <laughs> that would be. Yeah. I can see why that's a popular mod. I have to say. Yeah. Look, I mean. Then you couldn't have this. Yes, exactly. There the compromise, right? The compromise <laughs> strikes again. I'd rather have this. Yeah, I would. Yes. <laughs> You've got two doors at the back. Enter yeah, that's up fine. That. What do you need? What more do you need? Right. Let's move into the interior. Um, so in here I've got that switch is on the um, uh, the front parking sensors. Yeah. That switch is on my hot box, which okay. is the because it's nicely driving heat exchanger, long yeah. heat exchanger. Two buttons behind this are for the lights. Yeah. So switch those. I put next to a little tray. Okay. Um, I've got the 12 volt Snowmaster console fridge, yep. which uh, actually isn't working right now, but I, I think that might be my fault. I think I've unplugged something yeah, by mistake. Have a look at that. But that's I, I what but I it's like. It's at the right height. I love that. It's it's yeah. perfect. It's nice. It's a bit high in the troopy. I think it's a bit lower in yours. Yeah, it's a little but, lower. But once you I, get I'm used to it, I want to put a foam. I want to do a foam cutout on mine, and then a, two cup holders in the, out of the foam. So you know yeah. you get that foam. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a good idea. And then if you can put your yeah. your coke or whatever the case may be in there. Well, I, I think with mine, I, I might get the top up holstered and I might put a bit more heat resistance. So I, I like it. The, my Patrol has the AC fridge. You yes. can fit four cans. I think if I had a choice, I would actually have that because it gets things cold so quickly, whereas this, yeah. is, this doesn't like this ice or drinks. This is fridge. Exactly. Yeah. So I think for, for several day trips, it's quite hungry. Yeah. So as we were discussing last night, you have to remember to switch it off at night. So right. when the solar's out, but that's fine. At night, you know, it's cooled certain drinks. You can put them in the fridge. It, it's very handy to have. And, and as you mentioned, it's nice to rest. And, and seats. a and r put a, gave a nice little thing. So I've got extra sort of, I uh, think yes, it sits I've under got extra space to put walkie talkies, yeah, put more go. space to fill up with stuff I don't need. Yeah. The seats are, and this is where everyone's going to go, what an idiot. They are leather Schielmanns, the Traveller X. So they, okay. these came from Germany. They are double the price because of the leather. So I put yeah. the leather in because I thought actually my wife would prefer a bit more comfort in leather. Half they're also of, easier to clean in the sand. They are easier leather, to clean in the sand. Leather just yeah. makes sense. In this environment that we live in, it's, it's just a wipe down. Cloth exactly. seats, you can vacuum and vacuum and vacuum until you're blue in the face. You're they, never going to get the sand they, out They do get a bit hot. So I think in retrospect, it's not, it's not the end of the world. They're yeah. fine. But I think in retrospect, I'd probably have bought cloth ones. Yeah. But that's fine. And they've got nice lumbar support. I think I actually need to get it redone. I think that one's more comfortable than this one. And I don't think the lumbar support's been put in quite right. Because uh, the other day, for some reason, I sat in the passenger seat and I'm like, Ooh. this is a lot more comfy than that one. Anyway, I'll get that fixed. What's interesting about them is I, I thought that they would be comfy. Yeah. And they're not actually comfy, but you can drive in them all day. Yeah. And you, you get out and you're like, oh, yeah, great, my back's yeah. not aching. Cause I, my, I it's don't never going to be a Lexus. It's never going to be an Infiniti. Exactly. It's never going to be a, a Maybach or a, you know, a Mercedes. Exactly. It's, it's still, we've got, a 70, we've got a 70 series troop carrier. And, and compared to what it came with, yeah. I need to get some new mats. My mats randomly disappeared when uh, the, the car was being built, but that's, that's fine. Um, what else can we say about being in here? Oh, yes, the, this, the shelf, you get a nice shelf with the alu cab. Oh, nice. So that, oh, that that's comes down with the alu cab. Yeah, that's part of the alu cab thing. Oh, so that, again, nice. there's more space. You, I've got a PowerPoint, so I've got like, I've got a couple of hard drives that are there. So okay. you're camping and yeah. you, you can just pull it out. It's always charged oh, and you can, put, awesome. you can put your maps, your passports, things like that. I upgraded the stereo. Oh, yeah. Mm. You were talking last night. You've actually done the soundproofing. Yes, yes. So there's a company in Australia called Car Builders. Yeah. And they do what's, I think, quite cool about them. They do kits. So you can say, like, this is everything you need for a Troopy. Yeah. So instead of you buying and, like, having to cut it. Yeah. So it's fully, fully soundproofed. Okay. But from Car Builders, it, it's still a noisy vehicle, yeah. but it's it streets ahead from what it was. And I also got this lining put in. Oh, wow. I think it was David Benson, Go Troopy, who found this first. And this has made a huge difference. I've got it on all the doors. And it just, just deadens the sound a lot more. And, and no dust coming you in whatsoever. You show me where you got that from. I need that for mine. Yeah, I just got it from Amazon. It's not expensive. Okay. And it came up from the US 
very, very quickly. You've used it now, it's been built a pretty much about a year now. Yeah, it's that's about, right, yeah. About, about a year since it all got done and everything got yeah. done. What would you change and why, and what advice would you give to anybody starting a brand new build on a troop? I would say it's, it's not ideal as a three or four person camping car. Yeah, because uh, of the accessibility. So, accessibility and, and storage. So um, I think actually somebody who's done that really well is Helmut in, in Abu Dhabi. Yes. I think he's tro four, Troopy 4x4 four on Instagram. Yeah. He's put two, two so Lee actually went, he's yeah. got two seats from a Mercedes van. Yes. And they're kind of next to each other there, and the fridge is there. Mm. So I, I think I, what I would do differently is, I, I, I spent four four nights in this the other week, and I loved it on my own. Yeah. Uh, with the family, it gets a little bit crowded, but then it gets crowded, and then, you know, um, so it's kind of six of one and a half and doesn't yeah. the other. I would probably rethink the, the rear fit out, because I okay. don't need the downstairs bed, it's just not yeah. practical. And I could perhaps, you know, tweak a little bit the height and things. I, that tap that's in there is really neat, it's yeah. very handy but it's not 100% essential, so yeah. it might be a little bit better to have a little bit more space. So the interior, I would probably tweak a little bit. Yeah. Other than that, I, I'm really happy. And again, I didn't have a deadline. Yes. So it's not as if I said, I, I'm leaving for Mozambique in, yeah. in six weeks. It's like, guys, take your time, do it properly, yeah. use something, add things. I'm really, really happy. And this last trip that I did last week, I was like, I can't say that actually. I was an extremely happy person in my, yes. in my waking up in my tent with the sand, yeah. sound of the, the, the sea next yeah. to me and just popping out. I think another thing, one thing I would, I would say is this is not, this is not a Dodge Ram uh, or a, a Raptor or even a, like, you know, my Patrol's 2011, but it was designed in the 90s. It, it's yeah. more comfortable out of the box yes. than this is. So you have to realize that this is a truck. And it's it's, gonna it's, cost it's, you. it's Ooh, yeah. We didn't talk about rear correction. What have you done on the oh, rear? Um, because that was the first thing. I mean, when you buy a vehicle like this, it's going to cost you a lot of oh, money to get it to be like this. Why did Toyota not do that? I've, oh. I've never seen any logic behind it. I've got spacers. Yeah, all right. But I think what I'll do in future is have the offset on do the, the offset. Yeah. The problem is then you've got to carry two spares. I, I don't. I, th I think for, for what I do, if yeah. the spare's the wrong one, it'll get me it'll home. Just get you to yeah. the next. But you're right. Garage, if, you're, if you're doing a really long trip, like I mean, I think it's ridiculous that you know, I think J Max in Australia, they, yeah. they have a business selling replacing axles because yeah. Toyota don't make yeah. anyway yeah that's what you're right we forgot that so yeah I, I would say I mean I wanted a troopy I'd seen yeah. Andrew's stuff yeah and the I think what really vindicated this for me uh, oh and I can talk about uh, resale value will be great and all this sort of stuff so I don't think I'll lose any money if I have to sell it yeah. but the other day I was driving to our quaz which is an industrial estate here yeah. in Dubai where all the, the car workshops are I was going to A&R and I was in the Uber and I was going to pick this up and I saw this beautiful white troopy with the Hercules parked on the side of the road, and I went, oh, I really want one of those. And yeah. I went, actually, that's mine. That's yours. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, mate, I yeah. think you've got an absolutely awesome build, and I think, I think that's, that's the most important part of this whole discussion that we had, is take your time, think about it, yeah, design it. Yeah. Because you will be changing your vehicle every single year. I don't care who you are out there in, the, in, in, this, in this touring or camping or overlanding put whatever stamp you want to put on it but when you think you've got it perfect you're changing it again yeah and there's always upgrades and tech changes as well right now you've got the best tech yep. available right you've got a manager 30 which is awesome right they're expensive you've got lithium batteries awesome expensive as far as i'm concerned you've got the best fridges in the world you've got a snowmaster up front and, and and at the back best tech things change yeah and now tech changes and all of a sudden the battery's changed. Now you've got to change your whole design because the battery station that you've built is for your 75 amp lithium. Yep. And tomorrow, Elon Musk comes up with a <laughs> 3000 amp hour battery, but it's long and skinny and, and now you've got to take, and things change all the time. Yeah, exactly. But I think you've got a beautiful truck, mate. And Thank you. Thank you for spending the time. Thank you. Showing thank you for inviting me. And uh, follow you on Jeff the Trooper. Jeff, right? Jeff, G with a G, so G E. O F F Jeff yeah, the we'll Troopy on the screen at Insta on Instagram. So lots of pictures of my Troopy. Yeah, my favourite topic. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next show. Oh, if it's dusty, drive it. <laughs>